decision to wait before introducing a hepatitis C test for blood donors. Officials have acknowledged that thousands of people did contract the disease through blood transfusions, but they say a test that was available earlier was unreliable. The Red Cross admits up to 8,000 Australians were infected with hepatitis C through blood transfusions in the 1980s. A test was being used in the United States from 1987, but the Australian Red Cross decided not to use it except in Queensland. Was it the right decision? We believe it was and still remains so. The Red Cross says studies have shown the ALT test to detect liver problems was ineffective because it didn't pick up 80% of hepatitis C cases and 90% of positives did not have hepatitis C. The Red Cross flew in a US expert today to back it up. We showed that ALT testing failed to decrease the risk of non anonymous hepatitis in these patients. There were also concerns the introduction of a test in Australia would disrupt blood supply. Red Cross was very concerned about serious blood shortages occurring if they threw away at least 5% of their blood. The Red Cross is adamant it did not reject the test because of cost concerns. The Senate inquiry is expected to make recommendations to Parliament by the end of June. Joe O'Brien, ABC News, Sydney.